TV channel, you're all staying safe and well. We've got an American fantasy comedy today, although it's, uh, I think the fantasy element's probably correct. Uh, the comedy doesn't quite hit home, and uh, uh, I like quirky, don't I? I've, uh, I'll, you take one look at the title of this, and you do immediately think quirky and uh, interesting, um, but uh, we'll have to see. Not, not been very well appreciated, this one. I'm going to have a look at the American Society of Magical Negroes. There you go. 12 ACT for 104 minutes. And it stars Justice Smith as the young man, the sort of main lead in this, who joins a clandestine group of magical African Americans committed to enhancing the lives of white individuals, satirising the magical Negro trope. There you go. I didn't know there was one. Well, obviously I do now. It also stars David Alan Greer, Anne Lee Bogan, Drew Tarver and Michaela Watkins. Written and directed by Kobe Libby in his directorial debut. This was released in the United States back in March. Yeah, so uh, you check your sites or your streaming sites or your territory uh, for availability of this if you want to watch it. Um, I won't, I'll tell you what i think in a moment but uh yes this was march the 15th 2024 in the u.s so it has been knocking around for a little while but it's not really been at the forefront of many people's minds and we'll probably find out in a minute why yeah as i said i like quirky this is definitely that uh does it work well sometimes and but most times probably not in here somewhere there is an okay film it just doesn't quite go through the stage is correctly. I expected something profound, powerful, and it never really happened in this. As for the point of the story, I'm not overly sure what it is in the finished uh, product that we get. If you'd nodded off, actually, if you'd nodded off in the first, after about 15, 20 minutes, I woke up for the last 15 minutes, you probably could think positively about this because uh, it's a good end and it's a, it's a good end and it's a good beginning but the 70 minutes or so in between is, you know, is only sort of punctuated very occasionally with uh, worthwhile stuff the comedy isn't great it's not particularly funny the romantic element is fine it could have been expanded perhaps a little bit more to compensate for other things lacking in the story the white versus black question is never really answered or even explored as you might expect from that title and the plot overall is very unconvincing i think there's a lot of potential in this uh, you know you get a group of actors together uh, uh, an idea um unfortunately the, that potential has not been realized with the end product so yeah i mean in my scores i'll give you other people's views in a minute i'm not alone on my scores uh, i would be rotten on rotten tomatoes i would be mixed so i'm not going to go um totally uh, negative on it on Metacritic, so I couldn't be positive, but I couldn't be, I couldn't be totally negative, so I'll, I'll go mixed. But of course, my minimum score I give anything is five out of ten, and I just can't give this film five out of ten. It's it's not far short, but uh, no, it's just just I couldn't heartily recommend it to anyone to watch because, as I say, a lot of potential just not just unfulfilled and i'm not alone metacritic itself 23 critics five were positive so that's okay 16 were mixed like me and two were negative and it scored just halfway five out of ten uh, campbell campbell the great name there from empire magazine gave it 40 out of 100 which is more or less what i probably would have scored if i did uh, between 40 and 45 uh, despite a valiant effort Campbell says from Justice Smith uh, the satire in the American society of magical negroes feels aimless it does scattered across a story that struggles to pick a meaningful direction yes I can't, I can't disagree with that one Rotten Tomatoes love to know what they thought 73 critics 19 fresh and 54 rotten just a 26 percent positivity and an average is 4.8 out of 10 so again not great the only bright spot for this is the roman uh rotten tomatoes audience they're coming up with 3.5 out of 5 i have no idea how many uh, there's a few and uh, 63 percent positivity so that's okay but then just to finish off we've had over 8,700 scores and reviews left on internet movie database which is what we always finish off looking at and it's getting a pretty pathetic 3.2 out of 10 so not a lot of love for this one whatever from whatever um, way you're looking at it and uh, say i think if this had gone 
perhaps something more of a, as a romantic comedy and, and sort of concentrate on the romance element of it because some of the characters do sort of uh, play off each other pretty well uh, it might have done a little bit better but it gets totally confusing and lost this one let me know what you think guys anyway have a watch of it if you if you fancy having a watch of it as i say there are some as you can see people who thought it was better but uh, uh unfortunately not me so uh, let me know what you think we get it to it and of course uh, if you are new to the channel push that subscribe button push the bell notifications everything film and tv reviews like this information logs lots of different things and if you check through the channel you'll see stuff on my football team manchester city as well so if you know anyone who might be interested if you're not yourself it's always uh, helpful if you can give them a kick in my direction and if you like what I try and do on the channel, I'm always after support or sponsorship of the, of the channel. So if you can uh, get in touch with me, if you have any interest in that whatsoever, we can have a chat and I can uh, do, obviously, a two-way thing. I can uh, sort things out for you and hopefully you can you can help me out with a few things as well. So if any support or sponsorship, you can contact me through YouTube, of course. Just, uh, message me on this channel. All my other socials include TikTok and X. I'm at Bernard underscore Deneen. I'm on Facebook, just at Bernard Deneen. And of course, uh, you can email me as well. There'll be some uh, details up on the screen. Uh, so yeah, just give, give us a shout and we'll have a chat. Thanks for watching, guys. Until we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now. <laughs>